My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a professional skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and today I'm gonna teach you the five easiest skateboard tricks. Really what happened is we thought of this video, we thought of this video as a title, and we were like, this is a great video. And then I was thinking, what are the five easiest skateboard tricks? Really, I made this video called Skateboarding Made Simple where I said you should start off with pushing. Well, we won't count pushing as a trick. Pushing will be trick zero. Ollie will be trick one, frontside 180 trick two, backside 180 trick three, pop shove it trick four, and frontside shove it trick five. That would be the sequence, but that is not what I'm gonna go over in this video. We're gonna take it even easier than the Ollie. So I actually have no idea which tricks, but I'm gonna look around here and I'm gonna figure out what five tricks, I mean, some people might not even call these tricks. They're gonna be even easier than an Ollie. Once you start pushing and you learn to ride your board, what things could you do that would be five tricks that would be easier than an Ollie? Let's figure it out. I think I got a good idea of which number one is though. You're gonna think to yourself, that's not a trick. Well. Speak for yourself. I had this idea because this was the first trick that Ryden Schrock, Andy Schrock's son, learned. And I was like, there you go. That's the easiest trick in skateboarding right there. This definitely is easier than an ollie. You basically just flip your board over, put your feet underneath it, both feet, prepare yourself, and then you're gonna jump up and land on the board. Four bolts, victory dance. We are trying to get a lot of new people into skateboarding. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And every day you go skateboarding, I want you to learn something new. At least one new thing. Maybe it's not every day. Maybe it's a part of a trick. But the whole idea is that you improve every single day. So the whole idea with this video is something that you guys can learn and do, and then end of the day like feeling, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at skateboarding. Because ollies do not come in one day. If ollies come in one day, you're a skateboard god. It took me six months to learn how to ollie. Just an example. Let's do it again. Put your feet underneath the board. Boom! Jump up, jump on. You could land primo. Primo means you land like this. And that's definitely sketchy, that's definitely scary. So you could even do some practice like this. But regardless, I think this trick is easy enough to where you can just like, you know, take it up. Boom! Jump right on. If you're really, 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 really new to skateboarding and you want to start out doing that in the grass, go ahead. But I think that you guys got that. I think you got it. I think you got it. First try. Brian's beard. This one's for right in truck. That's the easiest skateboard trick. Number one. I'm not sure what number two, three, four, five, or six are, or seven or eight, but that's number one. Easiest skateboard trick number two. When I was in Montana and I was about 10 years old, we called this a nose bleed. Some might call it a nose stall. Others I think might call it a nose pick. I think a nose pick is something else which I will demonstrate, but this in my world is called a nose bleed. This I'm gonna say is easiest skateboard trick number two. Again, some of you guys might be thinking, that's not even a trick, but guess what? We're doing it. So for this trick, you're gonna have to push. I'm assuming on all of these things that you can push, even for the last one. So you're gonna push up real slow. You're gonna need an obstacle, ideally a curb. Try to not get a curb that's too rounded. Try to get one that has a nice edge. You're gonna roll up to it. And you're gonna run into the obstacle. And then you're gonna stand on this leg with all your weight on this leg. And there you go. Can you feel your nose bleeding? And then you just sort of awkwardly roll off. Hey, I didn't say it was like the sickest style points trick. I didn't even say it was a trick, but it's a nosebleed. It's like the most anticlimactic trick ever. It's actually a good way to practice nose slides as well. You really get that feeling of standing on there. Oh yeah, girl. I think at the end of this video, we should have Lance go through the whole series. I really don't know how else to explain it other than just roll up really slow and just run into the obstacle. I feel sort of silly putting practice steps together for things like this, but I guess if you wanted to, a practice step could be 
<laughs> Feels like you're sort of asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Don't hit it too hard, you might chip your board. A good test for this video would to bring like somebody who's never, 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 never touched a board before and have them do these. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. And to see how many tries they would take. Like if they do every one first try, it's like, ooh, too easy. Just roll up, nice and easy. You're gonna wanna just lift up just a little bit. Well, that's the nosebleed. I guess once you get it on like a small object like that, you could take it to a larger one. You guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. Lance Persistence, episode 17. Braille Army channels, coming soon. You wanna get really crazy with your nosebleed? Check this nosebleed. Easy escape board trick number three. I wanted to catch my board like this, but I failed. Well, number three, I had a really hard time figuring out what it was. I thought for about 13 seconds, and then Gabe was like, do this. And I was like, you're a brilliant genius, Gabe Cruz. I think when I was in Montana, you're gonna get the Montana 10-year-old trick selection. I think we called this a caveman. I'm not sure why. Maybe because we were cavemen and we thought that was cool. I'm goofy, so I go right foot forward. So you're gonna take your right, your foot that's forward hand, your foot that's forward hand, does that make sense? And grab your nose. And you're gonna hold your board like this. I guess you could start out just sort of dropping it and then jumping on the board, right? And then you get faster and faster to the point where you can kind of jump and jump on the board. Now, this might be the easiest skateboard trick number three. I definitely think it's easier than an ollie, but I can definitely foresee some people going like this. <laughs> I almost sprained my ankle just trying to do it. Let me do that again. I can definitely see some people going like this. So don't do that. Just don't do that. Make sure that your balance is nice and even and you're right over the board, no problem, and just jump on there like that, okay? Now again, back to the purpose of this video. This is for the brand new people. If you guys watch our videos and you don't own a skateboard, go buy a skateboard this weekend. Go to your local shop, go to the shred quarters, buy a skateboard and start skateboarding. That's your homework for the weekend. Ready? And then you can learn easiest skateboard trick number three. Lance wants me to do it off some stuff. What do you think it's, this is the hardest skateboard tricks? I thought this was the easiest skateboard tricks video. That was terrifying. I was thinking in my head was off the braille drop. Where's Vinny Bond when you need him? I think it's easier if you sort of like bend down. Gabe thought I was gonna fall, but I was being serious. When you bend your knees, you're closer to the ground, which means your center of balance is better. Hope some people make some memes out of that screenshot. It really works on my upper arm strength. Get that dab? Well that, ladies and gentlemen, is the easiest skateboard trick number three. Before the ollie, even easier than ollies. Easiest skateboard trick number four. So easy, I can't even do it. Should we do that again? Easy skateboard trick number four. In Red Lodge, Montana, I called that the sweeper swapper. That's not easy skateboard trick number four. Easy skateboard trick number four. Oh wait, that's five. That's a thumb and four fingers. That's, no. You got this. Easiest trick number four. This is to right off a curve. We actually do have a full length tutorial on this. Very accurately detailing every single step to roll off a curb. I'm just gonna give you the basics of roll off a curb here in the five easiest skateboard tricks of all time. I'll be honest with you, this is one of the harder tricks that we've done in the video thus far. There's a couple things that you need to know about rolling off a curb. One, is you need to be able to ride pretty well, you need to have your balance down. Two, you need to be able to ride while lifting up the front wheels. So the first thing would be just riding and practicing that balance of holding that up. You'd be surprised a beginner skateboarder trying to do that will have some troubles. Trust me, I've been there, I've taught them, I've done it, I've done it before. If you just got a skateboard and you're going to college and you're at your college campus and you're rolling around, 
You want to be able to roll off curbs. You also want to be able to ollie up curbs, but hey, that's after the five easiest tricks, okay? So you're gonna roll up to the obstacle, and once your front wheels start to go off the edge, you're gonna wanna lift them up. That's important, and I'll show you why. You want to roll off even, like this, and then land like this. If you roll off like this, well, you're gonna fall into the street, and in a street there are cars, and in cars there are people, and that could hurt you. So this is the way not to do it. You could do it like that, you might fall. This is the way to do it. Woo! First try! That was number four, let's go to number five. And for the most anticipated finale of the trick number five, the five finger boneless. In Montana, we called this a boneless. I was trying to think about this trick and I was thinking, do I boneless with my front hand or my back hand? And then I remembered, I never boneless. But this is a rather easy trick. Once you learn how to push and you're riding around and you got this, the only thing I can say about this trick is if you're tall like me, and your back is stiff, like mine, because you're like 500 years old or older, then it might be hard to bend down and grab your board. But you're gonna ride, you're gonna have your feet like that, you're gonna bend down, grab your board with your back hand, step off with your front foot, lift up, whoa, and then step back on without falling. I actually think it's good this is number five, and this one, I think, was number three. This sort of gives you some practice on the boneless. People who are actually really good at bonelesses and do them really well would probably be very disappointed in my boneless. But you know what? This is a video for the beginner of the beginner of the beginner. And if you can do this in any way, shape, or form, feel good about it. It's the whole idea, is that you go and skateboard, you learn something new. I don't care how small it is, the smallest little thing you learn it new, feel good about it, okay? Try! Nose bleed! <laughs> Thank you, try! So I definitely threw my back out on that boneless, but let's try it again. So you're riding, you bend down, grab it with your back hand. Boom! Does that look sick or does it look like just the, the worst thing ever? Gabe's not quite sure if it's like... In Montana we call this a chicken wing. You're rolling, you bend down, grab it with your back hand, Usually I think this trick is done with a 180 or a 360 or if you're really wild and crazy you would do 540. Lance just wants me to die, wants me to take it off some stuff. I was thinking we'd do it with a 180 first. Are the steps clear enough? Do you guys feel like you can learn this trick? Gabe says yeah, Lance says he's never tried it before. They're gonna both give it a shot and we'll see what happens. 180, first try. Here's where it gets real tech. Oh man, I'm gonna do a flip, you do a flip. The peanut gallery back here. <laughs> Rebate. Hey, if you learn it, you learn it. This is a beginner video, people. <laughs> Just take it, take what you can get. <laughs> Shout out uh, Bones Brigade. Don't do it off a drop, guys. Just keep it on flat. There's a rock right there. So you think these are the easiest tricks, huh? The proof is in the pudding. We'll see about that. Lance Cyber. Cyber. <laughs> so I forgot what number one was. I forgot where we are. What I, are we doing? I remembered. Take thy sword. Number one. First try. Does he have it? I'm are you nervous? Scared. No, no, are you scared? No, no, no. I'm actually scared. I thought you would. This is not easy. I know. Woo. Okay, that's gonna take some overcoming some fear. First try. If you're learning this, you probably want to start on the grass or the carpet. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Dang. The trick is to go fast and commit. The persistence was incredible. Number two, the nosebleed. If I do this really, 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 really good, does it count as a nose slide? No. Damn. But if we put this on the ground, and this is how I learned how to nose slid. Was that proper nose English? Kind of. Okay. I mean, maybe that's what we should do, is like how to nose slide without an ollie. I think that's an incredible video that we should make with you. Slappy nose slide? Slappy? We should do a whole Slappy series. Slappy Joe's, Slappy, Slappy Joe's. Practice step, okay? 
Whoa, you're practice stepping this? No, this is the five easiest skateboard tricks. <laughs> no, you're legitimately scared of this. I just thought the practice step was funny. Oh. oh, he thought it was funny. This video is not meant to be funny, guys. First try? It wasn't just first try, there was a lot of steves there too. I did too. not think you were gonna do that first try. Really? I don't like the five step. Gabe had zero confidence in you, zero. Okay, number three. The caveman. The whole point of these is so you actually do like improve and feel like you're improving and then take a win. Yeah. And I can tell that it's good because you're like, I'm so happy. <laughs> I, did I just learned two tricks. Two major accomplishments. But this one is actually scary. You think so? Yeah, that's why I'm gonna stand over here just in case. He's legitimately scared. Oh, not first try. <laughs> So that was just really steezy. Like, that, wasn't funny. that was super steez. It was like sick. Yes! Yes! I can't wait to see the boneless. That's a fun trick. That is a fun They're trick. Fun they are all fun tricks. Every trick in skateboarding is a fun trick. I think that most people could do these in one day. You think so? If you were good at riding the board. Because yeah. you have to be good at riding the board. Cause I mean, granted, you've done kick flip, 360 flip, hard flip, <laughs> all the five. I guess I'm not that bad. No, a person who just is very, very, very first starting might That's do... That's the, the Yeah, they might do this one in one day. I mean, Raiden drive, did that. Yeah, Raiden did that. He's a toddler. That's like a really good example of like a very, very first skateboard trick and something that you would do and feel proud of yourself. If you've been skateboarding for 10 years or five years or even a year and you're like, oh, this is so stupid. Don't, just don't even work. New people are learning how to skateboard and you're gonna give them the opportunity to learn how to skateboard and that's where they're gonna start. It's not stupid. So what's the next trick? It was the tray revert, no? Oh yeah. The sweeper swapper. Give it a shot. I legitimately think in like a good three hours you could do that. Trey for revert? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gabe? Gabe's like, nah, nah. I forget, what, what's trick number four? What are we on, four? Roll off a curb. I already know he knows how to do this because he's done it before. We made a whole tutorial. We made a full length tutorial on just this one trick. Aaron didn't want to do it and I was like, let's just do it. And it was really good. It was really good. And it made me realize that people who are very first learning, like for me, just to roll off a curb, I feel like a fool. I feel like a fool making a tutorial out of that. But that's the whole point of this is so we teach you guys who hopefully are buying your first skateboard this weekend and starting. Like that's the idea, right? If you don't have a skateboard and you watch our videos, get a skateboard, start skateboarding. We need to teach them how to do that. Yeah, you're right. We will make a video of how to buy your first board. Oh, first try? I know, it's the happiest he's ever been, I think in his entire life. He also was like, landed and rolled away kind of like. Jeez, right? Like, what's up, Rochambeau. Okay, so this is a boneless off, and it looks like Gabe Cruz is gonna go first. Judge, the judge says it's good. The non-judge says, I got it, but maybe I should rebate it, because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> First try? My voice cracked in that a little bit. You used the wrong hand. That was amazing. First try? Well, I'm gonna say they both won because they're skateboarders, where everyone wins. No, I'm really not joking. It's where everyone wins, skateboarding. I think that concludes our uh, expedition for today. That was the five most various easiest skateboard tricks. If you guys think you know of any trick that's easier than that, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys think these are not even skateboard tricks, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys are just starting out skateboarding and you think that this really, really helped you, please click that little bell on the subscription thing that means every time we upload a video, you get a notification and then leave it in the comments below. We wanna help you guys learn how to skateboard. We want you to get better. If you don't have a skateboard, we want you to get one. We want you to start skateboarding. 
We want you to have fun riding skateboards, and we want more people to skateboard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out all of the tutorial videos that we've made, because we've literally made hundreds of them. So check them out. Learn to skateboard. Have fun on your skateboard. Braille skateboarding, I'm feeling it. I'll see you next time. And thank you, 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 thank you. From the bottom of me heart, thank you.